Hello everyone, so our topic for today is all about motion in a straight line or kinematics in one dimension. So this is the outline for our study for today. So we have first to define about kinematics and dynamics. Then we will also define displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Then we will interpret position time graph and velocity time graph. And also for acceleration time graph. Then we will discuss about the four kinematics equation for motion along x-axis for a body moving in in horizontal axis and for a body moving in a vertical axis that is for freely falling bodies we, uh, there's also another four kinematics equation for that which will be which will be discussed later on so before we start our uh, our kinematics so we will first this is actually the <clears throat> excuse me this is actually the the part one of digging in physics so young units measurements and vectors are just supplemental or additional learning to aid you or guide you to uh in you know in doing the physics part okay so yun, uh, yun lang yung mga introductory for physics okay so this is actually the real part of physics so what is mechanics by the way so mechanics is all about motion all about forces all about conservation of energy conservation laws everything about motion is all mechanics okay so there are basically two branches of mechanics that we're going to discuss for this sem so we have kinematics and we also have dynamics so kinematics are the study of mechanics wherein we have to describe the motion of an object okay so the motion of an object we don't know anything about what's the cause of the motion or what's cause of the movement of the object but we are only tackling about motion so how can we able to describe perfectly or completely describe the motion moving along that axis along this axis and so on okay so at this point, we will talk about a velocity, displacement, acceleration, and etc. etc. for kinematics. And for dynamics, naman, we are all uh, concerned with uh, the effect or what causes the motion. So, ano yung nagkakos na motion? Bakit nagmove yung object? Okay, so sa dynamics, dito natin matatakol si Newton's law of motion, si work and energy, the momentum and so on okay so yeah that's the basically the two branches of mechanics that we are going to tackle for this sem so what is motion by the way so before dwelling on kinematics we have to describe first what is motion or define first ano talaga yung description ng motion so in physics term motion is like a uh, changing of position Okay, so meaning that if you if a uh, object at uh, at time um, say t1, so nandito yung object mo, tapos at after time t2, nandyan ang object mo. So meaning there is a change in position of your object. So meaning that your object is in motion. Okay, so there are three types of motion in mechanics. So we have translational, rotational motion, and even vibrational motion so first what is translational motion so basically all of our all of our study here is all about translational motion okay so yeah so translational motion is actually the motion along a straight line so motion in linear in linear so in a straight lines so for example you are walking down the street or car running down the highway so these are example of a simple example of translational motion so uh, our focus for today is all about translational motion okay so next one another type of motion is actually the rotational motion so from the root word of rotation so mean this means that the object is moving in a circular path okay so moving in a circular path with respect to a single line or axis of rotation so usually yung axis of rotation is uh, makikita natin in like uh, 
a center of a circular path. So, yun yung parang axis of rotation niya. So, usually yung mga example, rotation, just like uh, spinning, ano, spinning wheel, uh, earth spinning on its own axis. So, these are types of rotational motion which are common in, you know, common sa ato ang uh, everyday life, di ba? So, also just like translational. Now, vibrational is... Vibrational motion is all, all about back and forth motion. So, meaning that you are going to, uh, to uh, the object is moving uh, to its own position. For example, like a swing, diba? Yung sa public park, mag swing ka dun. So, you are moving actually back and forth. Or a pendulum that is actually vibrational motion. Uh, what else? Oh, yes, that's it. That's the vibrational motion. Okay? How about the spring? Yung spring na mag uh, move back and forth with respect to equilibrium position. So, that is actually vibrational motion also. So, these are three types of motion that basically, yeah, uh, the basic motion. Okay? So, the three kinds of basic motion. So, yeah, we will tackle mostly about translational. So, rotational and vibrational. So, parang uh, additional lang siya. Parang yak. Uh, hindi, hindi tayo mag-dig in deeper with uh, rotational and vibrational. Okay? So, okay. So, start na tayo sa ating discussion ng kinematics. Okay? So, yeah. In translational motion, so, we can model any object regardless of its size its mass, its dimension as a point particle. Okay? So, this is actually called a particle model. So, why it is very important? Because if if I will put in a problem na uh, find, I mean, draw your setup or draw the motion of an object or of a car or of a person walking down the street, you will not draw any more like a picturesque, I mean, the picture good of the image of a car okay so you will just represent a car by a simple point and i can and i can accept that because that is a particle model okay so just like gap a person you can represent a person walking down the street uh like a point or a particle so this is called the particle model so next here so, before going on about displacement, velocity, and acceleration, we will talk about first what is a position. So, an object's position is actually the location of a particle. So, at a specific location ng particle mo, but with chosen uh, origin. So, what do you mean by that? So, the chosen origin is actually, it depends on you. Okay? So, kung, for example, meron akong... Uh, car here moving along this highway okay so uh, the chosen origin for this system is actually uh, na assign a limit 30 km per hour so this is our origin so as you can see ito yung zero natin now inconvenient kasi sa Cartesian coordinate system natin so yung to the right ng origin natin are the positive na mga coordinates ng x-axis natin, di ba? And then, yung left side ng origin natin is actually the negative na mga coordinates. Okay? Sa ating x-axis na system. So, that is for convenience. Pero if you want, you can actually uh, reverse it naman, but you know, uh, you will be confused na because uh, kasi sa Cartesian, usually yung right are mga negative at saka yung left is mga positive. So, again, the origin is based on you. So, origin can be located here, or here, or here, or here, pwede po diya, and so on. So, this is depend on you. Okay? So, suppose your origin is, is na asya sa sign na limit 30 km per hour. So, the, the motion of a car is uh, actually in time interval 10 seconds so for every 10 seconds we will rep we will record the position of the car so at position b at after 10 seconds na nasa sa 52 so after 20 seconds uh nasa sa 38 then after 30 seconds nandun na naman siya sa sa 
origin and so on so yun yung location or position ng particle nyo at specific time interval okay so yun lang so now let's talk about displacement so displacement is actually the change of your position okay so usually denoted by delta x so x is actually meaning na yung object natin is moving along x-axis so basically uh, kung, makik kung makikita nyo nga lahat ng mga uh, mga subscripts mga notation natin are x because we are uh, dealing with uh, objects moving along x-axis so we have here delta x is equal to the delta means the change the change of your position x so we have the, the final position xf of the object minus the initial position of the object so the delta the change of the position is actually the displacement so for example uh, for example kukuha ko ng gusto ko mag calculate ng displacement of your car at point A to point C okay so yung C mo is actually the final position and yung point position A mo is the final uh, position okay so we have here 38 the final minus 30 so we have the displacement of 8 so from A to C the, the car's displacement is actually 8 meters okay so remember how the si unit of displacement is meters so just like what i said sa katong mga uh, nandun pa tayo sa vector na lesson okay so delta x is positive if the final position is greater than the initial position so as you can see here yung example natin sa position a to c 38 is greater than 30 so we will anticipate or expected na yung displacement natin is positive because the final position na 38 is greater than the initial position na <coughs> excuse me 30 okay so delta x naman is negative so negative ito so sorry about that if your final position is less than the initial position so that is actually right so for example ano yung ah okay okay so <coughs> excuse me so point c to d so as you can see here the point c na asya 38 di ba nga position and point b ha zero position so babalik siya sa origin so for here if we have to get the displacement from point c to point d what we will expect is the displacement must be negative because the final position is less than the initial position which is the 38. Right? So that is why that is actually the sign convention for displacement. Okay? So displacement and distance. So displacement is different from distance because first displacement is a vector quantity and distance is a scalar quantity okay so yeah for example a person moving one meter along x-axis from the origin and moving back to the origin so ano yung displacement at ano yung uh, distance so for example i have here so a person moving so ito yung origin ng person suppose ito yung origin so, nag-move daw siya ng 1 meter. And then, after 1 meter, nibalik na po siya sa origin. So, we have here 1 meter. Okay? So, the total distance na na-covered ng person is actually equal to 1 meter plus 1 meter. So, that is equivalent to 2 <coughs> excuse me, meters. Okay? <clears throat> so how it was uh, how this is different for the uh, displacement so the displacement is actually equal to the xf minus xi diba? so since displacement is a vector quantity so we will uh, get the direction of your uh, of your here of your of the 
position of your of your person so for example so since sa vector natin in a vert horizontal axis suppose x ito is yung unit vector na kasama niya is si i hat diba so always remember that now a person moving from the origin pat patungo sa x axis so that is positive so meaning that ito in vector quantity 1 meter plus i hat okay kasi move to the right siya now, baba, bum, bumalik naman siya sa origin niya, so meaning that it is moving to the left, so your i hat will become negative i hat to uh, to specify that the direction uh, the direction of the displacement is moving to the left. So if you add all of them, so one meter positive i hat minus one meter negative <coughs> i hat. <coughs> so if you add all of them so sorry sorry about this one so hindi pala ito so if you oh so sorry that is x so we have to add all of them so the total displacement is adding all of them so that is 1 meter positive i hat plus 1 meter negative i hat that is equivalent to 0 okay so zero yung displacement yeah so that is actually the difference between distance and displacement okay so so after tackling about displacement we will move on to average velocity so average velocity is denoted by v x with an underline above so meaning uh, the underline above means that it is average velocity and the subscript x means that the uh, particle or the object is moving along x-axis okay so uh, the average velocity is just equal to the particles displacement divided by the time interval delta t so displacement is delta x tapos yung time interval mo is delta t okay so yung delta ha means that it is the change of your displacement or change of position. Ang delta t naman is the change of your time, okay, for which the displacement occurs. Now since yung displacement mo can be positive or negative, so therefore your average velocity can also be positive or negative depende sa sign ng displacement mo, di ba? Because delta t is, remember, always positive. So, this cannot be, uh, the sign of your average velocity cannot be dependent on the time interval. Rather, dun siya magde-depend sa displacement. Kasi yung displacement is maging positive siya or negative depende sa posi position ng uh, particle mo. Okay? So, let's, uh, let's uh, kanang discuss the sign convention of your the sign convention of your average velocity now as you can see here so if the coordinate of the particle increases in time so meaning that uh, for example pupunta mo ako sa word so if your particle so, ito yung origin natin. So, ito yung coordinate axis. So, we have here 0. So, if your x coordinate or the position of the, the particle is positive and increasing, so meaning, for example, ito yung object ko, tapos yung coordinate niya is, uh, nagmove siya padulong dili sa, sa, along the positive x-axis so meaning that your coordinate of this particle is getting and getting more positive so meaning that the x velocity of this one kay since imong delta x here is greater than zero always so meaning that your vx or the average velocity is also positive so meaning that the particle is moving in the positive x direction now how about if i have a particle na naa siya nag start sa positive uh, part ng coordinate system mo tapos 
mag magiging less positive siya. So, meaning, nag-move siya towards the negative coordinate. Nag-negative -neg -neg coordinate siya. So, meaning, that the x velocity, so since the change of your displacement is less than zero na, always, kasi yung particle mo is moving naman siya pa dong sa kanang naging more and more negative naman yung position niya. So, therefore, yung displacement mo is magiging negative din. So, because of that, the average velocity will become also negative. Okay? So, meaning that your particle is moving in the negative x direction. So, next naman, how about if your particle is nandito siya sa negative nag-start, pero yung motion niya is patungo sa positive coordinate. So, magiging less, less negative siya. Okay, so how can we do this one? So, okay, since ang mukakuha mo dito is usually yung delta x mo is magiging uh, greater than zero kasi magiging less and less and less positive naman siya, di ba? So, magiging ano na siya? Magiging uh, uh, yung yung displacement mo becomes positive then therefore the average velocity is actually <clears throat> greater than zero meaning that your particle is moving in the positive x direction but how about if nandito siya sa negative okay pero pupunta naman siya naging, uh, nagiging more and more negative siya so ato siya sa uh, pupunta yung object mo dun sa mga higher na mga negative na mga coordinates dito so magiging more and more negative siya then therefore your displacement is always less than zero then your velocity or average velocity is also less than zero so yun 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 lang yung uh, sign convention ng ating average velocity with respect sa displacement mo okay so this is the four sign convention so yun lang so position time graph so how can we interpret a position time graph so position time graph means that the position in your graph <clears throat> denoted by x is actually your y your y sa graph mo tapos yung time is actually the x sa graph mo as you can see here this is actually the position time graph. So here uh, makikita mo that uh, we can actually graph uh, this data here. So as you can see, same lang gapo ng system dun sa first slide natin. So about this one. So my car tayo with different uh, positions. So for every 10 seconds, nagre-report tayo ng position ng car natin. Okay? So at point A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, remember so, even though yung car mo is moving in a straight line, it doesn't mean that your graph must must be also a straight line. Okay? Kasi magdedepende siya kung, uh, kung ano yung position niya at kung ano yung time interval niya at position niya. Okay? Kasi, yeah. So, it depends on the how the car is moving or what is the object of the car, not the actually the actual path of the car. Okay, this is not the actual path of the car. This is actually the data na, 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 na report mo for every 10 seconds. Okay? So, suppose I will get the average velocity from A to B. Okay? So, from point A to point B, ano yung average velocity mo? So, yung average velocity mo from point A to point B is actually the slope lang. Okay? For that two points. So, as you can see, rise divided by run diba so as you can recall sa yung slope rise divided by run so rise is your delta x and your run is your delta t so the average velocity can be can now be solved using this position time graph same lang din sa b to c so you can see na from b to c makikita mo din yung average velocity by getting the slope of points b and c so that's how you interpret the position time graph okay so yeah okay so ito na
Okay. So, let's move on to instantaneous velocity. So, if natin average velocity, napod tayo instantaneous velocity. So, kaning instantaneous velocity is actually called uh, velocity lang. Okay? Because it is very uh, hassle for us. Now, we will call uh, the instantaneous velocity as instantaneous velocity. Okay? So, some some books refer uh, prefer to call instantaneous velocity as simply velocity. So, if I say velocity, so that's me, that means in instantaneous. But if I specify that it is average velocity, meaning this is instantaneous, average velocity man siya, of course. Okay? So, the velocity is actually denoted by Vx of a particle is defined as the particle's velocity at that instant or at that specific in time interval. Okay, so the definition of your instantaneous velocity or velocity is just the limit as your delta t goes to zero, uh, delta x, the displacement, divided by the time interval t. So what is the meaning of this? So recall that your delta t is like this one, diba? So the, the instantaneous though, using the time graph, so we have to make this one very small, that it will intersect, meaning that this line, kanisha, will intersect only one point sa curve nga A to B. As you can see here, mugamay siya. So, pag gamay na tong delta T, mugamay, mugamay, gumay, mugamay. Hantod sa, isa na lang ang iyang intersect at that curve. Okay? So, each of the points here, kanisha, each of the points here represent the instantaneous velocity so kanisha so between points and point b uh, there are so many instantaneous velocity here okay so hindi mo lang nakita kasi uh, we are talking kasi sa average dito so the average velocity is like we have to add all we have to the average all the velocity that uh, from point a to point b so yun lang yung uh, instantaneous velocity now Yung average velocity mo at saka average speed are not comparable. So just like displacement and distance, one thing that they are differ different is average velocity is a vector quantity. Tapos yung average speed mo is a scalar quantity. So for example, just like what we did sa sa ano mo sa yung person mo, di ba? So yung person mo is moving for example uh, i will just get this person okay so ako siya ibutang dali so your person mo from the origin is moving 1 meter per second then after 1 meter per second bumalik naman siya sa origin niya with okay sa origin niya with another with the same velocity of 1 meters per second so here we will know that the average speed is just equal to 2 meter per second. Diba? So, yun yung total speed ng, uh, ng ano mo, ng, uh, ng, ano mo dito, ng, uh, motion ng object mo. But if we get the average speed, uh, average velocity, so what we will get is just, uh, by adding all of them, so we will get a zero. Kasi mag-cancel out yung 1 meters per second at saka 1 meters per second. So it will just cancel out. Okay? So ito yung pasabo ah. Ito yung understanding ko sa instantaneous tsaka yung uh, I mean average speed at saka average velocity. Now, for instantaneous velocity or instantaneous speed, and I mean, and instantaneous speed. Kay since yung velocity mo or instantaneous velocity is a velocity at that instant in time. So meaning that they have the same magnitude as your speed. Okay, kasi at this point kasi, ito yung speed ng, uh, ng for example, dito ka magkukuha ng instantaneous velocity. So the magnitude of this velocity is actually equal to the magnitude of the speed. Okay, since yung, uh, if you get the time interval, so very close, 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 padul na siya sa zero, what will happen is, 
the displacement at this point is equal to the distance. Diba? The speed is just equal to uh, distance divided by time. Diba? So, yung displacement mo is approximately equal to distance. So, that is why your velocity is approximately the same magnitude as your speed. And that is only for instantaneous. Pero kung sa average, that is not the same anymore. And that is not, this is actually not true anymore. Okay? So we are done with displacement and velocity. So we'll now talk about average acceleration. So average acceleration is defined as the change of your velocity, Vx, divided by the time interval delta t. So yung Ax mo, so denoted by Ax, so with underline above, meaning that average acceleration siya, and moving in the x-axis, okay? So... Uh, if the average velocity or the velocity velocity tells us how fast the body is moving or how uh, the body's position changes with time. So ito namang average acceleration or the acceleration, I mean and the acceleration will tell us how uh, is the body, the quality of the motion ba? So meaning is the body speeding up? Or is the body slowing down? So, ito yung uh, uh, interpretation ng average acceleration. Okay? So, suppose your average acceleration looks like this. So, we have points A to B. So, at point A, meron kang time Ti. Tapos, at point B, meron kang time Tf. So, at point Ei, the velocity of this car at point Ti or point A is Vxi. Tapos at point B, meron siyang velocity na Vxf. So we have here, yung delta Vx mo is just the final velocity minus the initial velocity. Tsaka yung delta T mo is just the final time minus the uh, initial time. So here, yeah. So the acceleration or the average acceleration can be, uh, can also be kanang, uh, calculate using a velocity time graph as you can see here. So, ito yung velocity time graph natin. So, uh, for example, the, the, the graph of the motion of the car, of the red car, is kani uh, and ani, as you can see here. So, the, the, accel the average acceleration is just the slope of two points A and B. So, we have delta Vx, which is the rise, divided by the run. Okay, so yung, yung, yung slope na makukuha mo is actually the average acceleration. Now, if not the average acceleration, na po tayo nga instantaneous acceleration or simply acceleration, which is denoted by Ax. So, it is defined as the particle's acceleration at that instant time. Okay? So, just like sa velocity na to, at that instant time. So, just like veloc instantaneous velocity, we will get the limit of the delta t as delta t goes to zero. So, meaning, so if I have here a velocity time graph, so I will just make delta t become small, much smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until this line will able us to, to intersect only one point on the curve. So that point represent the instantaneous acceleration or simply acceleration. So hindi to velocity ha, acceleration ito. So sorry about that. Now, Okay, so by the way, yung ginawa ko sa sign convention ng, ng, ano, ng average velocity is actually applicable din sa instantaneous velocity, ha? Okay? So, yung gagawin ko na sign convention sa instantaneous acceleration will also be applicable to average acceleration. Okay? So, instantaneous acceleration sign convention or the average acceleration na sign convention. So, same lang din sila. So, since your delta t is always positive here, so meaning that the ax will not be dependent on the delta t in terms of the sign. Kaya nga no gani? 
because it is always positive. So AX can be positive or negative dependent on the depending on the sign of your velocity. Okay? So for example, if your AX is positive, meaning that the velocity so wrong is so the velocity or the body is moving in the positive x direction but if if your ax is negative then the uh, body is moving in the negative x direction okay so ano ba yung rules ng acceleration mo okay so for example okay so i will just uh, get my word okay so i will have draw na naman ako so Again, I have here uh, origin, tapos ito yung axis natin. Okay, so ito yung positive x, ito yung, ito yung negative x. <clears throat> now, if x velocity is positive and increasing, what do you mean by that? So meaning that your velocity is moving in the, unsa na siya? Moving in the positive x direction. Okay, but your acceleration so if your vx is getting and getting more positive what will happen is positive and increasing so meaning that your body is speeding up kasi nag increase yung velocity mo from time to time so therefore your acceleration is greater than zero meaning ni accelerate ang imuhang or ni speed up ang imuhang uh, body okay because of increasing uh, velocity now how about if so that is body moving in the positive uh, direction now how about if your particle is moving in the positive x direction but your velocity is getting less positive okay so what do you mean by that so even though yung velocity mo ay yung body mo is moving in the positive x direction but your velocity is decreasing meaning that your body is slowing down then therefore your ax must be less than zero must be negative okay so how about if your body is nasha sa moving in the negative x direction so nag move siya in the negative x direction but your vx okay your vx is becoming less and less negative so meaning that your body so i think this is wrong so can i kasi yung body mo is moving in negative x direction pero nagsuslow down siya. Okay, so we have here uh, yung body mo is negative and increasing. Okay, so ano palang? Negative and increasing. Okay, so particle is a negative and increasing. So Vx greater than zero. So your body is slowing down. So I don't know what to do. So, so here, Vx, is Vx less than 0 here? Vx is less than 0 and decreasing. So, meaning that your body must move towards here, diba? Kasi yung Vx mo is dependent on the displacement. So, dapat yung displacement mo here is moving pa dung siya. So, uh, this is wrong pala. So, can I... Uh, okay, so ang yung body mo is moving in negative uh, in positive x direction but becoming less i uh, becoming more and more negative so yung position niya so therefore your vx is less than zero and your acceleration is less than zero also meaning nagka decrease ang imuhang uh, velocity okay so because your velocity is proportional to the displacement meaning that your 
if your velocity is negative, then therefore the delta x may also be negative. So, magiging more and more negative yung position ng particle mo. Diba? So, how about, so, ang pasabot lang ani means that if we have the same like this one, like this, so your body is actually slowing down. Okay? So, how about if your particle is moving in the negative x direction, but becoming less and less negative yung, yung velocity mo? Okay? So, what will happen is, if getting less negative yung velocity mo, what will happen is your vx is, again, less than 0. Is it less than 0 or greater than 0 na? So, getting less negative man siya. Negative and increasing. So, how about we have here negative and decreasing sa, okay? So, first, we'll move to negative and decreasing. So, getting more negative. So, padung siya dadto. So, getting more negative and more negative. So, we have here your Vx is... Uh, so, getting more and more negative. So, is it less than 0? Kasi more and more negative siya. So, dapat negative yung velocity mo. Pero yung acceleration mo is greater than 0. Kasi yung, yung, ano mo, yung, uh, yung, saan eh? So, yung velocity mo is negative and decreasing. So, is it, is, is this correct? decreasing okay so let me let me just uh you know uh kanang kuan this kanang internalize this one or analyze so if your x velocity is negative and increasing so negative pero increasing ah okay so negative siya pero increasing your body is slowing down. So, meaning that your AX is positive. Greater than zero. Ah, okay. So, okay. Now, I see. So, if your velocity is actually getting less negative, so, padulong siya dito, per increasing siya, then, therefore, your AX is less than zero because your vx is also proportional to ax, diba? So, if magiging negative yung yung ax, a uh, vx mo, pero increasing man siya, so meaning that your ax is zero. So, ka-increasing man siya, tapos negative yung body mo na uh, nag-start, so therefore, your vxf is eventually magiging greater than siya ng vxi initial velocity okay yep so particle is moving in the okay so can i erase muna to so grabe ka libog okay so can i erase so okay so again i will repeat so, suppose I have a body here moving. So, grabe ko ang acceleration. Okay? So, that is zero. So, uh, if your x velocity is positive and increasing, this means that your, your acceleration is also positive so meaning that your body is speeding up okay so meaning that your body is moving in the positive x direction kasi yung vx mo is positive and your ax is also positive because your vx is positive now how about if your x velocity is positive and decreasing so positive siya pero magiging mag decrease and mag decrease magiging less positive siya so vx becomes less positive so what will happen to the acceleration 
So the acceleration meaning magiging less than 0. Magiging negative siya kasi yung Vx mo magiging less and less positive siya. Okay? So here, I think so the the problem here is I let the Vx less than 0. Magiging less and less positive siya. So I will just put it less positive. Okay, so at some point, magiging less and less positive siya and decreasing. So therefore, the acceleration is less than zero. So meaning negative yung acceleration mo. Now how about if your particle, uh, your velocity is negative but mag-increase siya. So meaning that your velocity will increase and increase. So the change of your velocity Kaya grabe kaya siya ang pag-increase. Okay? So, magiging less and less and negative siya. So, therefore, particle is moving in the negative x direction and slowing down. So, positive yung acceleration mo. Okay? Greater than zero. Pero yung, yung Vx mo is, again, magiging less and less negative. So, magiging less and less negative or increasing siya, then therefore, the body is slowing down. So, saan mo na siya mapaan B? So, yung negative and increasing. So, negative yung velocity pero increasing. Negative velocity increasing. So, for example, yung velocity mo at point, say, negative 2 meters per second. Okay? This is your init initial velocity. Tapos, yung final velocity mo is negative uh, 4 meters per second. So, magiging less negative siya. I mean, 1 meters per second. So, this is your in final initial so, negative 1 meters per second minus negative meters per second is actually equal to, wait lang ha, 1 meters per second. So, magiging uh, less, yeah, so just like here. So, ang pasabot lang ani is, your Vx, your velocity is increasing but getting less and less negative. So, for example, your initial velocity is negative 2 meters per second. Tapos, magiging less and less negative siya. So, for example, nagiging negative 1 meters per second naman siya at some point. So, yung acceleration mo, so, uh, yung delta Vx mo is just equal to negative 1 meters per second kasi ito yung uh, final velocity minus the initial velocity of negative 2 meters per second. So, yung delta Vx mo is positive, diba? So, positive siya. So, therefore, yung Ax mo must also be positive. So, ito lang pala ang pasabot niya. <laughs> ang iyang gusto ipa-understand sa ito. Okay? So, how about negative and decreasing? So, meaning that your Vx is becoming more and more negative. But, and decreasing. So, kay, sa atong coordinate system ang good, basta mag-move ka pa dung dad to, for example, uh, your V initial velocity is negative 2 meters per second, pero after later some time, kay, na yung final velocity is negative, say, 5 meters per second. So, in our coordinate system, ang VI ni mo is actually greater than BF. Di ba? Kay, ang negative 2 is greater than negative 5 man. Okay, di ba? So, therefore, the delta Vx or the change of your velocity is actually negative 5 meters per second minus the negative 2 meters per second. So, what you're going to do, so the expected na, na sign of the change velocity is negative. So, therefore, your Ax must also be negative. Okay? So, now, okay, yeah, so yun yung, yun yung sign convention ng ating acceleration. So, sorry about that. 
kasi uh, na kuan ko nalibog ko sa mga sign convention okay basta acceleration so yeah but we actually did it like yeah you know so how about okay so one way to to know that if your acceleration or i mean if your body is speeding up or slowing down is you have to take note of the directions a muhang object uh, directions a muhang velocity of acceleration sa object for example if your object velocity is in the positive i hat direction tapos your acceleration is still in the positive i hat direction then the body is speeding up then however if your object velocity is in the positive i hat direction but your acceleration is a negative i hat direction meaning that the object is slowing down so for example sa tong sign convention so here we can see that uh okay so, ano yun? okay so sorry so here we can say na uh, yung positive and increasing so as you can see your velocity is going in that direction and your acceleration is going in that direction then the, this case means that your body is speeding up okay so nag speed up day siya now how about this uh, case so your vx is less positive and your ax becomes uh, less uh, your ax becomes negative so meaning that you're less positive siya so gamay lang na siya nga vector kay mag less and less positive man siya but your acceleration is going in that direction meaning that your body is slowing down so kaning gamay nga nga vector means that nagiging nga gamay na himong gamay ang mag magnitude sa imong velocity so mo na kung gigamay ito yun ako gamay okay so how about if we have negative nga velocity and increasing and particles moving in the negative x direction so we have here uh, so increasing one siya so meaning that your velocity is moving in this direction so increasing but your acceleration is moving in that direction so based at to ang uh, example kani okay so based ani nga example so as you can see the velocity is getting more and more positive so from negative to nagiging negative one siya after so but your acceleration is positive okay so meaning that your velocity is slowing down slowing down okay so okay since okay, acceleration is getting less and less and less negative but your acceleration is positive Okay, so how about if we have the negative pero decreasing siya? So, imuhang particle is decreasing iyang velocity pero ang iyang uh, acceleration is still negative so meaning that your that your body here is slowing, I mean speeding up. So, that is why it is very uh, it is very ambiguous to say if maingon kag negative acceleration mag slow down ng imuhang body pero it's not because even though negative yung acceleration mo you still have a body that is speeding up okay so yun lang yes yeah, so here vx is increasing so how about this ano this uh, are you can you know niya na sabtan kaniya so the vx is negative pero increasing so the particle is moving in the negative x direction so yeah that's it that's the sign convention for your acceleration okay so yeah just like what i said negative acceleration does not mean that the object is slowing down so if the acceleration is negative and the velocity is negative then the object is speeding up so for example sa motion diagram nato 
So for motion diagram is so motion diagram is different from graphical diagram and tabular diagram. So sa tabular we have to take note the data tanan sa mga uh, velocity ay velocity the we have to take note of the position at time interval. So as you can see here, ito yung tabular natin nasan yung ito. So ito siya. And then ito yung uh, graphical. So next is the motion diagram is another way to to describe the motion of an object using diagrams. So, for example, sa letter A mo, so car is moving at constant velocity. So, as you can see here, the length of the velocity vectors here are in the same uh, length. Kasi meaning that your car is moving at constant velocity. Now, when car is speeding up, what will happen is the velocity becomes more and more, you know, the length become more and more uh, longer okay because means that the car is speeding up now how about if the car is slowing down so the car is slowing down means that from the uh, longer length sa vector velocity mo and velocity vector mo so kung mag slow down siya more siya ni break okay so meaning mo gamay ang iyahang uh, velocity na vector but your acceleration is moving opposite to the uh, to the uh, to the um, ano yun? Ano to the uh, opposite meaning slowing down siya so as you can see kung the same direction C si V at saka A uh, speeding up if opposite direction naman slowing down yun lang so as you can see here yung mga acceleration natin are in the same uh, same Ano to? Same length. Kasi meaning that these objects uh, this object are moving in constant acceleration. Okay? So, munang pasabot niya din. Okay? So, sample problems will be given to you uh, on the separate video. So, I will just solve that one. So, let's move on to the kinematics equation. So, there are four equations of motion that uh, we can able to use for to describe the motion of an object so we have here this equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 and equation 4 so you can use this one to describe the motion of an object but this is only applicable only for constant acceleration and if your object is moving in x-axis okay because if in the, in the constant acceleration what will happen is you need to deal with calculus kasi yung acceleration mo is not any more constant so for if constant yung acceleration mo then therefore you can use this for equation of motion okay so where your vxf means that uh, final velocity yung vxi mo mean that uh, initial velocity t is the time tapos ax is the acceleration for uh, object moving in x-axis xf is the final position x is the initial position so you just have to deal with this one now take note for the vx with the bar above this average diba? so you can actually get the uh, arithmetic average or arithmetic mean ng uh, velocities mo if you can only do this if your acceleration is again constant so you cannot do this with your acceleration dependent on uh, time or in position and so on okay so yeah so here I will just answer this one uh, so this is based on the four kinematics equation so we will use this four equation to answer this three problems so we should be separated so yeah so next is the freely falling bodies now this freely freely falling bodies is actually the uh, very good example for motion at constant acceleration because uh, we are talking about objects that is falling under the acceleration due to gravity which is constant if near kayo ng surface sa earth meaning that uh, the read the the height of the building is not greater than the radius of the earth because if you are going at high high uh, 
at very high kung ano mang good na mga uh, na mga you know buildings if uh, going ka sa gawasagi ka sa atmosphere so this constant acceleration will not be constant anymore okay so this is actually the motion along y axis so naapod siya upat ka uh, ka equation of motion so which is based on the actually here sa ato ang equation of motion kani so ako lang ginabuhat what you what you're going to do for freely falling object is you have to replace the x here as y okay so meaning that we have here vyf vyi yf yi and vy and so on but your ay is actually equal to negative g so negative g means that your acceleration is moving pa down okay yeah okay so ay is actually equal to negative g so that is why if you use this equation you just have to put 9.8 meters per second because the negative is incorporated in the equation naman okay for example like this one ba so if i have a kinematics equation say for example a v y f is equal to v y i plus a y t so if you have an if you have an equation like this you need to use a y is equal to negative 9.8 diba but if you have an equation like this v y f is equal to v y i minus g t your g is equal to 9.8 kasi na incorporate na yung negative dito sa equation natin okay so there's no need for you to to use the negative because na incorporate naman siya sa equation okay where your ay is actually equal to negative g so you just have to replace ay as negative g so that is why we have this equation right here so same lang din sa other uh, three equations okay so na nag involve ng uh, negative g so we have negative one half gt squared negative 2 gyf minus yi okay so ito yun yes yeah, so the sample problems will be uh solved on the separate uh video okay so that's it so bye